Hello, this is Erica from Blacksmith Period Films, and I am here for day six of our Write It series for Black History Month. The past two days were about unknown people in history, but today we are doing a historical figure, and we know a lot about him. His name is Francis Williams. He's a Jamaican mathematician and poet. He was born in 1700 and died 1771, so he led a pretty long life. This portrait was painted in um, 1745, and so that means that he was 45 years old in this picture. Now, if you examine the picture, to the left, you see a window, and that is portraying, or um, people believe it's portraying Spanish town, Jamaica. Um, his surroundings show his wealth because he is from a wealthy family, and the books, the globes, show that he is an educated man, which he was. So Francis William has an interesting story because he was born to a free black couple in 1700s Jamaica. So if we're gonna be telling his story, his story doesn't start with him being enslaved, which I know that there are some people who like period films, but they tend to have um, some reservations because they don't like seeing slavery in every story. Well, with this story, he wouldn't be the one that would be enslaved. He was not born enslaved. Um, you could store, tell the story or start the story with his father, however, who was born a slave, but received his freedom when his master died. Um, after receiving his freedom, 10 years later, he had acquired property and um, became a man of means, which put him and his family in the minority. Not only were they free Blacks in Jamaica, but they were wealthy Blacks in Jamaica, um, wealthy, educated Blacks in Jamaica. So that's an interesting um, layer to Francis Williams' story. Was it lonely growing up that way in Jamaica in the 1700s? You know, you're, you're in the minority there you're black, you're free, you're educated, you're wealthy. How was that? Now we don't have those um, those type of details on his life. So it will be nice to see how a historical fiction writer would use their own creativity to come up with those details. Perhaps he you know, wanted to be separate from everybody, or maybe he was sad about the fact that he didn't really fit in with the general black population in Jamaica. So. Because of his father's acquired wealth, Francis and his brothers received an education. Francis traveled to Western, European, to Western Europe for that education in 70, 1721. So uh, perhaps you could write something about his education, his time gaining his education in Western Europe. Perhaps um, that could be the entire story, just his time in college and him, him getting ready to go back to Jamaica, which he did in 1730. When he returned to Jamaica, he opened up a school in Spanish town, Jamaica. So maybe you could tell the story, a story from the point of view of one of his students. There's so many things you can do with Francis Williams' story. You could also tell the story using the uh, Montague theory, which is I, I call the Montague theory, because there's this theory that um, John Montagu, who is a who was a governor in the West Indies, um, because this man was very generous, and because he financed the education of black men like Antigua Sancho, there are some that believe he also paid for um, Francis Williams to go to Cambridge University. The only problem with that theory is that there are no records of Francis Williams attending Cambridge University. Now, creatively and with some artistic freedom, you can write a reason why those records don't exist. Perhaps somebody destroyed them and that explains why they don't exist. Um, and also there's people that say this story might not be true because um, Francis Williams came from a wealthy family, so he would not really need Montague to send him to Cambridge University. There's different ways you could approach this. Maybe you could just leave this all out altogether. Um, his story would be great without John Montague being included personally. Um, but you also could write Antigua Sancho's story, which is very compelling in itself because he was educated. He did receive, um, he did have a wealthy benefactor. Because of that, he became a well-known um, 
Black British writer, composer, and actor. The person that came to mind for this role to me was Dulé Hill. He is extremely talented. He has experience with period films. He's very popular um, for his role in the film Holes as the character Sam, which took place in the late 1880s. Additionally, he played the MC in the production After Midnight, which took place in the early 1900s. Um, add that on top of the fact that he is the child of two Jamaican immigrants, and he seems like the perfect person, in my view, for um, a film about Francis Williams. There are so many different ways to tell Francis Williams' story. You can start his story when he's a child in Jamaica, free, black, and wealthy. What does that look like? You could start his story when he's receiving his education in Western Europe. You could show the story from the point of view of his father, who got his freedom and became a man of means in the span of just 10 years. Um, what does that look like? There are so many different ways to tell his to tell Francis Williams' story. He was a real life person. He achieved many great things. He came back to Jamaica to open a school. I think Dulé Hill would be perfect for this. If you agree that Francis Williams deserves to be on screen, maybe you could write it.